welcome to BitRush Crypto. My name's Kyler, and today I'm going to teach you how to create NFTs on the Binance Smart Chain or XDAI network. You can also, of course, create them on the Ethereum network as well, but that's nothing new. If that sounds good, please do stick around, but first you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up on the video. You can find links for my investment projects and social media in the description below. And here we go. All right, guys, just real quick before we get into today's project, I just want to let you guys know that what I'm going to be doing here is turning artwork into an NFT on the blockchain. If you guys need help on how to actually create GIFs or, you know, any sort of digital artwork, I have several other videos covering that topic that I'll link in the description below and should possibly be popping up above right now so if you guys need help actually creating the artwork there's other videos for that today's video is strictly going to be turning your artwork into an nft on the blockchain as i mentioned ethereum has been around for a while but we've recently added the binance smart chain and the xdi marketplace using unique one so this is kind of a fairly new um, project here i just learned about it a few weeks ago and essentially what it is is um, rareable it's like a rareable but on all three chains right so rareables only on ethereum um, they basically took the exact same thing when you get into doing some of the um, creation process a lot of the stuff is pretty much the same almost an identical clone so they took the project and put it on binance smart chain and xdi which is really amazing because most people don't have you know fifty dollars to spend on gas fees for an nft especially if the nft is under that price you're buying a twenty dollar nft and it costs you fifty dollars in gas that now makes it a seventy dollar nft so unless you're a really high-end artist where people are paying hundreds or thousands of dollars for your artwork it probably doesn't even make sense to sell on ethereum anymore with the high gas fees so that's why people are going to start looking for something like binance smart chain or an XDAI marketplace to be able to do the same thing at a much cheaper cost on a faster, more affordable network. So, all right, guys, here we go. So coming down, we can see what makes us unique. They have a fair launch system. Um, for their token, they have a net zero platform fee. They have artist no fee policy. They have creation mining. They have usage mining and artist contests and liquidity mining. So essentially, if you hold the rare tokens um, or you create artwork, you're gonna get rare tokens. And the more tokens you hold, um, the more you're gonna earn. So as people pay fees on the network, the people holding the coins earn. Um, so it makes a really nice ecosystem for the artists. Those tokens also give you the ability to vote for any sort of governance decisions, um, vote in contests, you can mine more rare as a liquidity provider, or you can share in the platform fees as we already kind of mentioned. We have just a chart here of the distribution. If you guys want to see that, take note. And their emission on how much they're releasing every single year. It is a fixed supply token model. Only 10 million rare tokens will ever be created. And taking a look at the roadmap, we have something exciting here. We started with ETH, we went XDAI, then we just launched BSC. And now you can see here, going into Q4, Q3, Q4, we have Sora Network launch. If you guys aren't familiar, Sora Network runs Pokeswap, and um, I believe they're going to tie in with Polkadot, so I'm not sure exactly if this makes it a Polkadot um you know nft being on the sora network because sora is going to be part of the polka dot network i'm not sure you know all the technicals on that but either way really exciting stuff guys um the more chains the better as far as i'm concerned nfts everywhere and you can pick up the coin at some of these other exchanges here we're not really here to talk about the coin so i'm going to kind of just skip ahead a lot of this stuff guys if you guys want you know how to do a little research come down here check their links all that good stuff let's get into the actual project so today I'm going to actually be minting an NFT on the Binance Smart Chain. So let's click BSC Marketplace and it opens up the Binance Smart Chain version of the app. You can see bsc.unique.1. The next thing you're going to need to do is connect your wallet. Just click in the top right hand corner and we're going to be using MetaMask. 
Next, if you're not already, you're going to need to switch to the Binance Smart Chain. So up here in the networks, come down to Binance Smart Chain Mainnet. If you haven't added this already, you're going to have to do that manually. I have another video that covers that process. It will be linked below, like how to use Binance Smart Chain and should also be popping up in the right hand corner now. Should also be noted that on the Binance Smart Chain Network, you're going to need some BNB to pay the network fee. So make sure you have a little bit of BNB in your wallet as well, or you're not going to be able to complete this process. You can pick that up on PancakeSwap or anywhere else they sell um, BNB and just make sure you're sending it over to the Smart Chain address, which is a 0x um, address, just like an Ethereum address. Next, we come here and we can see it's pretty easy what you need to do next, guys. You click on Create Collectible. And this is where you're going to choose do you want a single collectible or multiple. So single essentially means it's a 1 of 1. And multiple means it's a 1 of 10, a 1 of 30, a 1 of 100. However many you want, but you're selling multiple versions of the same piece of artwork, okay? For today's video, we're going to keep it nice and simple. And we're just going to go with a single NFT. Once you get to this page, the next thing you need to do is just choose your file. I'm going to choose my logo here. And after this, we're going to choose all the information about our NFT. There are two different things you can do here, or several things you can do here, I guess. But um, one is to launch in the unique dot one collection. This is everything that anyone creates under the platform that doesn't have their own private collection okay so if you're an artist or a brand or something like that you're going to have multiples within the same same basket of artwork you might want to create a collection it has its own like little page and um, then you can have all those pieces of artwork within the collection on that one page for sale or just easy marketing whatever you guys want to do maybe you just like to keep things organized or maybe you don't want your artwork and your NFTs grouped in with everyone else on Unique One. So it's up to you guys if you want to create a collection or not. Uh, creating a collection does cost a little bit more in a fee. And if you just stay with the Unique One, it saves you a little bit on that. I'm going to actually create a collection today. And um, just to show you guys how to do it, we're also going to need to uh, choose a picture for our collection. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to choose the exact same picture, my logo, and then we're going to need the name of our collection. Okay, so this is, it's going to mint a sub token, and that's going to be your uh, name of your collection is the name of this token. I'm going to name mine bullish, and the symbol is going to be bull. And if you want to make a description, this is what will show up at the top of the collection page or whatever, if you have that there. So my description, a collection of bullish NFTs crafted by YouTuber Bitrush Crypto. And if you want a short URL, you can do that. So I'm going to do, let's see if bullish is taken. It looks like it's not. So we, everything looks good. We can then click create collection. At this point, you are going to have to pay a fee. As I mentioned, this is going to craft your token create a new token on the network that all of your nfts will be housed under as part of that collection there we go and success okay we're gonna have to kind of start the process over again but now we can see on this page we have bullish bull as our nft so when we come to choose our collection we're gonna choose bullish and I'm actually going to choose a different piece of artwork, guys. I'm going to go with, um, let's do the, let's do the rocket. Okay, so again, choose your art file, choose your collection. If you didn't want to create a collection, you just click unique one. If you did need to create a collection, follow that process and you're ready to go. So now we're going to name the piece of artwork. Name this one Rocket Riding. And you need to come up with a description for your NFT. This is basically going to be what people read when they look at it on the marketplace. All right, my description is rockets to the moon, all aboard. And the next thing you need to choose is royalties. 
This is going to be how much you make as the artist if the piece is resold. So let's say I sell it for one ETH and then five years from now that person sells it for 10 ETH. I would get a percentage, 10% of that 10 ETH, which would be one ETH. You can also change this higher or lower depending on how much royalties you would like to make on the resale. Because my items are collectible, I don't like to promote them being resold. I like to take a 33% royalty. Next, we're going to choose the category. We have art, animations, magna, memes, trading cards, collectibles, unique. I'm going to go ahead with collectibles. And here we can do properties. You can add any property you want. So example, you could do like color is red. You can do um, size is large. Anything you guys want here, really. Um, you can create any sort of properties you want, okay? So I'm going to just do um, YT channel. This is usually what I do. And I do Bitrush crypto. Now we have optionally have the ability to put it on sale. If you'd like to put it to for sale right away, you can do that now. However, you don't have to. You can create it and go back later and change the sale status and choose how many you want for sale. If you're making a multiple, like say you made a 10 of 10, um, you could put half of them on for sale later. So that's up to you guys. I'm going to just skip that for right now as I want to keep it in my wallet. I'm probably going to give this thing away for some sort of giveaway or something like that. So let's just do create. It's going to upload the files and next you're going to have to click mint token again you're going to have to pay a small fee to mint this token onto the network but that's what creates it and turns it into a piece of cryptocurrency so pay that fee and in just a minute we will have crafted our very first nft on the binance smart network there we go we can see that transaction is confirmed let's give it a minute to catch up here with the app and here we go. This is my dashboard, it looks like. Let's click on Creations. Still loading up here, but we can see it there. Rocket riding. Looks nice. Let's click on it. We have the creator with my address. We have the collection. We can put it on sale, transfer, burn. Um, you can do more stuff here if you guys want. Like Click on it and see what else is in the collection. All that good stuff. Uh, all right here. Okay, so here's the description down bottom. It's a little bit different than Rarible, guys, so it just take me a minute to figure out where everything is. But right here it says Rockets to the Moon, all aboard. So there's your description. And if we want, we can click on the collection, too. Let's click on that collection. Let's see the whole collection. So, again, this is what the collection looks like. You'll see um, the main logo here for your you know your token that you created your erc20 token for that collection and then on here underneath you have all of the collections that are for sale obviously we don't have one for sale so we need to click on collectible and we'll now see all of the nft collectibles that we've put within our one collection and it should have a short url i believe it's not showing it right here but i believe it should have that bullish as the short url so if we went to that let's check again and just see on our dashboard We go to collections. Okay, coming back to the dashboard, we can now see how many works we've created, how many we've sold, and how much revenue we've earned. So that's pretty cool, a nice, easy way to keep track of everything, guys. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy the content of today's video. This was kind of an exciting one for me, learning how to create these NFTs over here on the Binance Smart Chain. I'm probably going to go back and create some on the uh, XDAI network too, just so I can say I have some NFTs on all the networks. If you guys wanted to do the process on XDAI, it's the exact same thing. You would have just clicked on the XDAI network from the beginning and just make sure you're on the XDAI network. Um, other than that, though, the process is the exact same. Should be easy enough for you guys to get this done and start creating some custom NFT artwork on the Binance Smart Chain and on XDAI network. Again, guys, if you need help on how to actually create the artwork, I do have several other videos. Just search my NFT playlist and I'll show you guys how to create some stuff in Photoshop, how to do some animation how to do some 3d rendering a bunch of cool stuff there other than that though guys again smash the thumbs up on this video share it with a friend or family member throw it on social media make sure you're sub to the channel bell to be notified happy crypto and let's get that coin